Well, let's discuss this further now with economist Tony Alexander, who's joining us in studio tonight. Hi there, Tony. So nice to have you with us. Yep, thanks for having us in. Hey, OK, this is a record rise for the OCR. What does that tell us about the state of the economy at the moment? Well, basically, it's stronger than the Reserve Bank was expecting. They were hoping the interest rate rises so far would have crunched consumer spending, the spending you and I do at the stores, etc. But we are still spending up large. People are coming in from overseas to holiday in New Zealand and they're spending as well. So the economy is basically in better shape than the Reserve Bank was thinking. And so there's more underlying inflation than they were previously forecasting. Yeah, it's ironic, isn't it? Uh, more pain for homeowners, though, with this announcement. Well, certainly for people on floating mortgage rates, because that rate is very closely tied to the official cash rate of the Reserve Bank. But for fixed mortgage rates, maybe there's only about another half of a percent left for those interest rates to go up, because the markets had already expected that the cash rate would get towards 5 or 5.5%. Five the Reserve Bank see a peak of 5.5%. It was largely already factored into the market. So this is mainly for people uh, who have got floating mortgage rates, that sort of thing. Fixed rates up, but nowhere near as much as floating. But if you were refixing a, a rate now as well, you're going to get stung, aren't you? Well, yes, because you probably fixed a year ago at, you know, 2.5% or something like that. So, yeah. And that's a concern some of us have, that there's actually still a lagged impact to come through of the increases in interest rates which have already occurred. Yeah. So that's something we'll be keeping in mind. OK, eye. the R word, recession. We're hearing a lot about this. The UK is staring down the barrel of a recession. Is that going to happen and what exactly does that mean? Well, I, I still think in New Zealand we won't have a recession, but if we do, it'll be very shallow because we've got good support for our economy from the, the boom in inbound tourism, the relatively low Kiwi dollar, uh, high job security uh, as well. Um, a lot of people are still, you know, basically got some good money there and willing to spend it. They've saved up money during the pandemic. So, no, I, I, I think if it's a recession, it's going to be relatively small and we don't have the energy cost uh, impact running through as they have in Europe, the UK. Yeah, going into winter as well. Uh, what about house prices? How is all this going to affect house prices? Yeah, well, if interest rates are going to go up a bit further, you'd have to expect house prices will go down a, a bit more. I still think we're in the final few months of the house prices going down, and I'm thinking maybe they'll start turning around in the middle of uh, next year. But before we get there, they are going to go lower. It's anybody's guess, and if I have to guess tonight, I'll say 5%. A few days later, I might give a, a totally different view. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. OK, also a bit of criticism today, just quickly, uh, that the Reserve Bank may be overcooking this. What's your view? I don't think so. I think what they did today was fairly good because they used strong words. Their main aim in today's statement was to scare everybody into pulling back spending. And if we do that, interest rates won't have to go up, as far as they've said. OK, lovely. Thanks for your analysis tonight, Tony. Cheers.